Neurotoxicity test. Neurotoxicology is the study of the adverse effects of chemical, biological, and certain physical agents on the nervous system. Neurotoxins include lead, mercury, pesticides, and ethanol. Many regulatory applications require neurotoxicity tests to be carried out. The target organ of this test is the central nervous system, CNS. Fetus exposed to neurotoxins in womb can lead to developmental neurotoxicity, DNT. Exposures via oral, dermal and inhalation. Effects of neurotoxicity can both be acute and chronic. In vivo animal test methods where animals most commonly used are hens and rats. Next is the mechanism of neurotoxicity. Inhibition of acetylcholinesterase, ACE, is one of the mechanisms of neurotoxicity. Acetylcholinesterase inhibitor, also known as cholinesterase inhibitor, binds to the enzyme, cholinesterase, and prevents it from breaking down the neurotransmitter, acetylcholine. With toxic doses, the result is that excessive levels of the acetylcholine build up in the synapses and neuromuscular junctions and glands. This leads to neurotoxicity. Procedure. Sample required. Blood. Process. 1. An elastic band is wrapped around the arm, 3-4 inches above the collection site, superficial vein that lies within the elbow pit. 2. The site is cleaned with germ-killing medicine, antiseptic. 3. A needle is inserted into the vein. 4. The blood collects into an airtight vial or tube attached to the needle. 5. The elastic band is removed from the arm. 6. The needle is taken out and the spot is covered with a bandage to stop bleeding. In infants or young children, a sharp tool called a lancet may be used to puncture the skin and make it bleed. The blood collects onto a slide or test strip. A bandage may be placed over the area if there is any bleeding. Preparation required. No special preparations are needed prior to the test. Next, we will move on to the result interpretation for cholinesterase. A 5 to 25 percent depression in cholinesterase means that slight poisoning has taken place. A 25 to 35 percent drop signals moderate poisoning, and a 35 to 50 percent decline in the cholinesterase readings indicates severe poisoning. There are some advantages of neurotoxicity. One can be seen over pathologic measures in that they permit repeated evaluation on a single animal over time to determine the onset, progression, duration and reversibility of the neurotoxic injury. Other than that, the chemical and physical environment is uniform with the exposure parameters that are strictly controlled. Besides, only small amount of chemicals are needed to conduct this test. Furthermore, the systemic effect is bypassed, thus, the effect will only present locally. The range of donor species are widely available also, it can be humans or even animals. Plus, the testing is potentially adaptable to high throughput and lastly low cost involved in carrying out the test. Neurotoxicity testing is relatively new. Although its rapid development is noteworthy, its progress has been constrained by several factors that complicate neurotoxicologic assessment. Some of the complexities, such as sex or age-related variability in response, are common to all branches of toxicology. Neurotoxicology, however, faces unique difficulties because of several characteristics that make the nervous system particularly vulnerable to chemically induced damage. Those characteristics include the limited ability of the nervous system to repair damage, because of the absence of neurogenesis in adults, the precarious dependence of axons and synaptic boutons on long-distance intracellular transport, the system's distinct metabolic requirements, the system's highly specialized cellular subsystems, the use of large numbers of chemical messengers for interneuronal communication, and the complexity of the nervous system's structural and functional integration. The nervous system exhibits a greater degree of cellular, structural, and chemical heterogeneity than other organ systems. Toxic chemicals potentially can affect any functional or structural component of the nervous system. For example, they can affect sensory and motor functions, disrupt memory processes, and cause behavioral and neurologic abnormalities.